Fink's MC have hit the streets of Victoria for their national run under Chapter President Kosh Radford. The annual national run started from Pie Face Coffee in West Wodonga, and ended at the Fink's Clubhouse at Cranbourne, this was a 350 km long journey. The last annual run was conducted by the club in February 2022. Hundreds of Fink members travelled to Wodonga to be a part of this national event from NSW, Western Australia, South Australia, and Queensland. The run started at 10 a.m. and was scheduled to end at around 5 p.m. in Cranbourne. Skull patterned face masks and leather vests decorated with club patches were common among the gathered members. Also riding among Finks were their associate 66s. The organized ride was a show of force, strength, defiance and aggression following a year of knockbacks for Finks. It can also be seen as a form of intimidation against rival bikies. According to a Finks member, this annual runs as a way to promote camaraderie and a sense of community among its members. This run involves riding in a group to a destination, with stops for food and beer. The event is a fantastic way of socializing and also serves the purpose of promoting its image and attracting new members. Finks attempted to increase their presence in the Gippsland region last year and established a chapter of the club with a small base, together with a shed and a bar, in the small town of Lindenau, near Bairnsdale. However, the Gippsland clubhouse was shut down in November following an increased pressure from Victoria Police, which had included the arrest of the new local chapter's president. Just like last year the run was spearheaded by Fink's boss Kosh Radford who donned his vest emblazoned with the badges of founding member and life member, and added a touch of bling with gold buckles spelling out his name. Victoria is one of the few states left in the country where bikies can freely show off their patches and colors, and associate in public without worrying about fines and arrests. Earlier last week, Victoria Police issued a warning to the riders and confirming that heavyweight task forces like the Echo and Viper would be monitoring their run to ensure public safety and discipline. A police spokesman said extra officers would also be patrolling in relevant areas over the weekend, and they would not hesitate to take immediate action on any criminal, road safety or public order offenses they identify. Finks was founded in Adelaide, Australia in 1969. The club has a strong presence in Australia and New Zealand, with chapters in several major cities. They have been involved in a variety of criminal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion, and weapons offences. The club has a history of violence, and has been involved in a number of high-profile bikey wars with rival clubs. In recent years, law enforcement agencies in Australia have targeted Finks, with several high-ranking members being arrested and convicted of serious crimes. Finks have also been associated with white supremacist ideologies, although the club officially denies any such ties. The club was one of the first to be banned in Queensland in 2013, under the state's new laws targeting criminal motorcycle clubs. In 2019, the Australian Criminal Intelligence Commission listed the Finks as one of the country's outlaw motorcycle gangs of national concern. According to news in South Australia, the club is grappling with an exodus of members, including prominent figures within the club who have been members for more than a decade. The disruptions within the ranks further serves to strengthen the hold of the Hells Angels and the Comanchero who are the uncontested bikey heavyweights in South Australia. It is understood that several members of the Finks have decided to part ways with the club in the hopes of living law-abiding lives. In recent times Finks outside Victoria, has become more of a feeder club for the Mongols, Comancheros and the 81s.